99% of lawyers give the rest a bad name. You're welcome. crazy. I think I showed you in the last video this cut I have on my head. Well, I was cleaning and not paying attention and just moving around too fast and whacked my head off the banister. And it swelled up pretty good. It still hurts to do this. Like to move my eyebrows hurts. But unrelated to this, I was also in a car accident. Sam and I were on the way home from one of her friend's birthday parties and it was really snowy out and um, I was driving down the road and a guy backed out and I could see him backing out and I could tell that he wasn't gonna stop and I had Sam with me so I just slammed on my brakes and it was super icy so I slid and turned to try and get away from him and went right into a snowbank. So I got stuck in a snowbank and then he still didn't see me and backed right into me and whacked the passenger side of my car. So I need to go and get that fixed. A car that we haven't even mentioned yet but we did pick up a car in September. We needed a reliable vehicle because Sam's now at the Christian school and there's no buses because it's a private school so I have to drive her every morning and pick her up every afternoon. So I wanted a good reliable vehicle that would be warm and I knew wouldn't fail me. The Jeep's like questionable sometimes and the truck gets really old too so I just wanted something that would be my own and that I wouldn't I knew would 
yeah, work no matter what. So it kind of sucks that I just picked that Kyra up a couple months ago and now it's already damaged. But luckily I took it into a body shop today and they said it's going to be, you know, a little bit to fix, but hopefully we can get that done later this week or next week at the latest and get my car back up and running and on the road, which is good. So it was a bit of a crazy weekend, but I'm really grateful that neither Sam or I were hurt. They were able to pull us out of the snowbank, and like I said, I took the car in to get looked at today, and they told me all the stuff that would need to be done to fix it. And the guy who hit me is obviously the one who's going to have to pay for it, so it's not on me, luckily, to have to pay for that. And my head's fixing up a little better, getting better every day, so we're just putting around here. It's real cold, and working on getting the chickens a bigger area, a bigger run set up for them, and... Sam's enjoying being back at school, so she started back today and she was just super happy about that. So anyone who doesn't know, we do have another channel where we're building our off-grid homestead from scratch. So we started that, it's MBF Off-Grid. You can find it in the link above. As we are building and developing that land and getting it ready to one day move there and start a homestead there, we do have our homestead here that requires a lot of maintenance. We've got to do all of our plowing or shoveling. We've got to keep the fires stoked because it's wood stove heat in this house. We've got to maintain the chickens. There's lots of things to do here at this homestead and then we also drive over to the other one that we're preparing. So we're just living here for now. We bought this home. Uh, so that we could invest our money in something and have somewhere to live while we build up our new homestead, which we plan to move to once it's done. We're gonna build the house, we're gonna build the garage, and we're just gonna have it completely ready before we move over there. We didn't wanna rush into it, nor did we wanna rent a place while we built that or live in a camper again, because these Canadian winters yeah. are very cold. All right, so now I'm gonna go and prepare some supper. We got beef that we ordered from, we bought half a cow from a farm up the road. So I'm gonna go prepare some spaghetti for supper. See you in the next one.